So I've been working in cloud for about a year and three quarters now. And in this video, I wanna share a few of the things that I learned during my first full year working in cloud. And during my time working in this area, I've definitely looked at it as a really great area to work and an area of tech that is really popular. Um, there's a lot of demand for cloud engineers and cloud solutions architects in different cloud roles. And I really liked working in this area and felt in demand, like there's loads of jobs available. I have great job security and I feel confident about my skills as my skills are in demand by various different companies all over the world. And that really just gives me great confidence in what I do and what I learn. So after my first full year working in cloud, let me share some of the things that I learned. The first thing I wanna share is that learning is super important. And I think this goes for any area in tech. Continuing to learn is one of the most important things. I know that for me, I did a lot of learning to get into the cloud. And once I got in, I felt like perhaps I can relax a little bit and I have a job now and I'm earning money so I can stop learning like I used to. Um, but even while working that full-time job, it's so important to continue learning. Things change all the time. And even though you've got that job and you're making that money, if you wanna to continue to grow, you need to continue learning. There's never a point that you'll come to that you've learned everything you need to learn about tech or even about Azure or the specific area that you're working in, especially in tech. There's always more to learn because there's always new updates. There's always things changing. There's always patches. There's always some new service or technology that you can learn about and add to your skills. The second thing that I really learned was don't stick to one thing, especially early on. In the company that I worked at when I started my career, I was lucky enough to be involved in loads of different stuff. So my role was an Azure administrator, as most of you know, who watch this channel. And one thing which I really liked about that role is that even though I was an Azure administrator, I was involved in loads of other stuff. Like I was involved in cybersecurity projects. Um, I worked a lot with Microsoft Defender. I did a bit of IT support in that role, funny enough. And although at the time I looked at it as, well, they're kind of getting me to do things that are outside of my job role that I'm not really supposed to be doing and I want to focus on Azure. I got a lot of variety and now, even moving into the role I'm in today, some of the things I learned on the projects that I wasn't supposed to be on, I actually use in the role which I now work as a cloud security engineer. So I went from being like, oh, why are they getting me to do this and that and different stuff, to being so grateful for having that wealth of experience and experiencing different areas of tech. And so that's one of the things I learned. Even today, if I get the opportunity to get involved in something I'm not usually involved in within the workplace or get on a project that is not fully related to what I do, I'm excited about the prospects of that because when you get into tech the first time, you don't really know what you like or what you enjoy working on or what sort of stuff you're good at. So getting involved in as many things as possible is the best bet to actually finding out what you're interested in, what you enjoy, what you're good at, different stuff. And that is really important. And that's one of the things I learned. And as I go on, I wanna implement that in my career and in my journey in tech. The third thing is do not be too hard on yourself. A first year should be seen as a year to get started, a year to figure things out, a year to grow, a year to learn. And if you're not jumping in straight away, getting involved in loads of stuff and just being really good at what you do, don't be hard on yourself in that first year. With time and with repetition and with the understanding of how to navigate the tech industry, you will become a lot better. As loads of you know on this channel, my first ever job in tech, I was fired within three months and that doesn't define me because I got up and I went on to the next role and I did so much better and they valued me so much more and I learned so much more. And if you are struggling in that first role or maybe you get fired or you don't pass the probation stage or something like that happens, don't look at it as, oh, I'm not cut out for this or I'm not good enough. Look at this as one step in the whole journey that you're really gonna learn from. 
If you plan to work in tech for a long time, that is just like a really short period in the grand scheme of things. And you're gonna get so much better and learn so much more. So don't be hard on yourself if you're finding things difficult. Just continue, keep going, keep learning and eventually you'll get the hang of things and you'll have so much more confidence knowing that you've overcome certain things and been able to use that moving forward in the next stages of your career. And the final thing I wanna mention is do not worry about the money early on. Yes, I know people in tech and cloud engineers make good money, good money, but there is no rush to get that good money. Obviously, I don't know everyone's situation or what they're going through or the money that they need, but as long as they're paying you a certain amount and that first job especially, use that first job to really learn and build and get value and improve yourself. And when you have that understanding and experience for however long, nine months or a year, then you can go for that big money. Then you can claim, I am an experienced cloud engineer or architect or whatever it is and you can demand a certain amount of money from that. You know, when I think about the first role I had, it wasn't paying very well at all. And, I, and for me, I didn't mind that because I understood that this is the first role. I don't really have experience in cloud and this is just a stepping stone. I'm not gonna be here forever. I'm gonna hop and that hop was a massive jump. I pretty much doubled my salary in my first hop and that was after working nine months in one place hopping over to the next role which I work in now, it doubled and it continues to grow. So one thing I always say is don't worry about that first entry level role, the money they're paying you. Take that role and get the experience from that role and take that into the next one where you have that experience and you can demand a lot more money. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. Subscribe, like, comment, support the channel. Thanks so much for all the people who have been subscribing. The subs are going all the way up and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.